When we spoke initially a few weeks ago, Thomas, we talked about your time as a young coach in Germany. At that time, who were your early role models? Who did you look up to? I'm still a young coach, huh? Of course. But I'm kidding. My role models in coaching? Not necessarily in coaching, just in sport or maybe in other walks of life. Who did you sort of look up to for guidance? For guidance, well, first of all, there was my father who was my coach when I was a young player, was my coach for many, many years and, and who coached me with all his passion that fathers coach their sons. So later there was, uh, uh, was a big influence on my, on my coaching was that I entered the academy of, of Stuttgart, which was a famous academy at that time where I could really learn uh, everything that you need to learn about coaching, that it's not just uh, arriving uh, half an hour before training and, and, and looking what you do, but that it's uh, like that it's more than just a hobby and more than just talent, that it's also uh, that you have to underline it with hard work. In Stuttgart, I met a very influential person with um, Hermann Badstuber, the father of the player from Bayern München who unfortunately uh, died uh, much too early, but uh, was a big, big influence on me and became like a little bit a, a second father figure in, 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 in coaching, who really uh, showed me how much effort, how much, uh, uh, how curious you have to be and how much things you, you and how much you can be into details if, when you want to be a good coach. That was a big influence and, and of course, before, as a player, uh, Ralf Rangnick was my, was, my, was my coach and he showed us in third division uh, uh, that you don't need to follow your, your striker to the toilet, then you can play in a back four, which we have never heard before, and showed us videos from, from, from Parma and from, from Dynamo Kiev and made us play like them. So that was a, a pretty new horizon in combination then later as a coach like, like in Stuttgart, which was very influential. And then later I had uh, the chance to, to go to Mainz, also in the youth department, and, and uh, to meet the, the, the head of the academy, which, who gave me, who's still there, the head of the academy, who gave me all the freedom that I needed. I was so happy to be just in charge of an under-19 team for the first time. I earned completely my, my money just being only a coach. This was already a dream come true, and, uh, and the head of the academy, he gave me all the freedom to, to try all the stuff, to do errors, to, to, to invent new training methods, to, to do everything uh, the other way around in the next week. And that was a, that was a big, big uh, encouragement for me. And so we were very successful. And then, uh, yeah, people gave me the trust to, to coach the first team. So you need always... I'm very aware that you need in football always luck, so I'm a very lucky person and um, was always surrounded with, with good people. And I'm very happy to, to listen to, to everybody who, who works in leadership with people because you can learn from everybody. And um, um, yeah, this is the, the way it is. So hopefully I, I'm, I'm influenced by, by many, many, many more people than I now mentioned. But um, I'm very grateful for the way that my coaching career went and uh, for, for the people who helped me because I, there's no way I could have done this alone. The love from my family, the love from my personal little family and of course from my, per from my parents is, is, a, is, a, is a big combination always in life and I'm very grateful that life is good to me. Absolutely. Finally then, Thomas, were there elite coaches or managers either in football or, or other sports that you did look up to as a young coach? I mean, there, it was clearly like, like before I even understood it that that like teams like Ajax, when I watched them, teams like Arsene Weng, uh, Lu, uh, Luis van Gaal's Ajax, um, Johan Cruyff's Barcelona, uh, Arsene Wenger's Arsenal, um, and then when I understood more about football, there was Pep in Barcelona, who teached me. On the, on the, for me, myself, who teach me everything about this game, that you can play nice and you can win everything and you can win everything and still be humble and still be nice guys. So 
then you can attack and still be intense in defending. That you can be, then you can that you can do it with guys from the academy and and, uh, and so on. That you can impose so many things uh, that that you would talk normally about uh, influence in life, and you can see this on the on this on this game of football. That was uh, eye opener, and I'm very very happy to to had the to have the possibility to 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 play against Pep then with my teams and to be in contact with him and to listen to him and watch his teams play. I mean, it is in the end, you know, in the end, the 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 game has to speak for yourself. This is the biggest wish. Like, uh, if I, I I don't know, I'm not a painter, but when I compare it sometimes with a painter, and we have to talk so much about our game and how to express it. I mean. If, or a writer or a painter, if, you, if he has to talk a lot about his book, maybe it's not the best book. Or if he has to explain his painting, maybe it's not the best painting. You know, it should be, stand for itself. And sometimes me and I know that some other guys out there would wish that, that just the game for itself stands for what we do and this is our expression. But of course, like to bring it to an end, Pep, Pep was then later a big, big, big influence and until, until today. I have the feeling that any time I watch a game from him, I can learn something about about football and I can learn something new, which makes it for me very, very curious and a big challenge to be now in the same league again and to compete again on this level. Like I said, I'm, I'm grateful and this, is, uh, this could go on forever and ever because this is a part of my personality, a big part of my personality is, is football. And I'm I'm curious and 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 happy. And with all these other teams and coaches that I mentioned, I noticed that there is a certain style, a certain approach to it that makes it special. An attacking approach, like AC Milan, also with Saki, they scored a lot of goals. They attacked. They had the ball. It was adventurous. It was brave. And this is the way I I, I like it. And uh, we try to improve here that we can score more and still concede nothing, so there's still work to do.